Dude, Jerry's right behind me like a creeper. The pictures on oh the pictures on Steam show them. Oh I see. So now can I go on this other side? Nope, you don't give a damn about this door. This door be damned, who cares? We're going. All right, get on the elevator, Jerry, or whatever this is. It's not an elevator at all. Reset, reset. Uh. Oh, okay. We're going. Oh, we just passed something. Is it going to take me all the way back to the beginning? Do I have to, like, go to the level, get the part, go all the way back to the beginning, then go to the level, get to the part, and then go all the way back to the beginning again? Like, over and over again? That's going to be, uh, longer. Yeah, Jerry's on his own little thing. Don't be afraid, Jerry. I think we're here. All right, come on. Can I Let's pick up for the elevator to see if the park Come here, is. Jerry. Jerry's just going. He knows where the elevator's at. Look at that. Jerry's on his way. He knows where he's going. Everybody, follow Jerry. <laughs> okay sheriff's way back there we're leaving him in the dust Jerry wait what's oh this is the room with the buttons okay All right, what do we got? Case update report, case nine, the sheriff. Jerry is very quick. Oh, well, to say that the new approach to encapsulating case nine with his desired identity has backfired would be an understatement. Perhaps the amount of time case nine schedule that was dedicated to watching Western media was too excessive. While case nine has fully embraced himself as Ban Ban gang's protector, he has grown to believe that everyone that is not part of the Bandman gang is a criminal, including inanimate objects with human features, the facility staff, and most likely children. It did not help that last week was completely dedicated to how to properly catch, imprison, and interrogate criminals his size or larger. No staff member is safe near Case 9, as his methods are simply too violent for a human being to survive. Case 9 has become a real Western sheriff where existing as one will ruin everything. <laughs> Case is not ready for presentation. Oh. Come on, Jerry. No? You staying here? Alright, whatever. Perfect. That's one of three. I'll stay here and put everything together. For now, maybe just hang around the place and talk to the queen if you're ready. Uh, okay. Come on, Jerry, you coming? No? Alright, bye. Jerry's gonna stay here. With the sheriff. <laughs> I feel like this bridge is gonna collapse. Oh, well, maybe not. He said it's not very stable earlier, and it makes me think it's gonna collapse. Very too brave, so he needs to. That's true. 
Probably doesn't need to rest. So, can I go in the infirmary or anything? I'm gonna go look at it real quick. Probably not, right? No. Alright, I'm just gonna go talk to the queen. <laughs> I'm sure Jerry, Jerry will be part of this. We just gotta fix the elevator or whatever. I mean, I wanted to we put one part. I respect the things you are doing to get your child back. Putting your life on the line and fighting forces far more powerful than you like that is just admirable. That's right. As a token of my respect, please accept this blue keycard. While not much, it is what we consider a symbol of trust. I am okay. To announce that you are officially a citizen of the kingdom. Yeah. As much as you like. I'm a citizen of the kingdom. The kingdom can now proudly announce that it has reached a population of five. I say five because a friend of yours showed up while you were away. Oh shit. I told him to stay in the infirmary. I don't have any friends. So perhaps you could speak with him when you have time. Okay, let me take the blue key card. Alright, the infirmary. Now I can go to the infirmary. So there's two spiders, Nab Nab and Nab Nab Lena. Nab Nalina. All right, the infirmary. Click the buttons all next to all the doors. Like this. I can't click it. Am I supposed to do it after I talk to him? Can't click that one either. What's this? Dear Mommy, just had the best party ever. Wow. Okay, let's go look in them. There's nothing in it. Nothing in it. Uh, there's something in that, but I can't tell what it is. Nothing in it. Maybe I gotta talk to... There's a snail or something in that one? Oh, okay. Well, let's go talk to this guy. <laughs> this is obviously my friend. I forget his name. When the queen mentioned having many visitors in one day, I knew it had to be you. Oh, this is Ban-Ban. Listen, whatever happened to me, whatever I tried doing to you... Just know it wasn't actually me. I was forced to obey without much thought. Yeah, right. I tried communicating with you from afar for a reason. Now you know the true reason why. Still, I want to make it up to you. The Queen filled me in on the situation with the elevator. I want to help with that. I feel much more in control now. I'll come help you find the missing pieces of the elevator. Uh, I just need to rest for a little bit and I'll meet you at whatever that station is. Whatever what station is. Claim the key card for the south in the hall. Okay, so I got an orange key card, so I still can't open this, right? It's not even clickable. Someone's waiting for me in the south in the hall. Okay, hold on. I'm opening... Oh, I can't open them all. Uh, 
That was not even clickable. Alright, fine, let's go in here. Someone's waiting for me in here. It's dark. I don't want to go in there. Oh, it's the jellyfish. Try. Don't worry. I'm unable to hurt you. Yeah, right. I'm too weak to do anything. I can't go up there. By not listening to me and leaving when you had the chance, you have made a great mistake. Oh, really? Finally, after managing to keep Josh under control, you just had to come around and anger him. Who the hell's Josh? Look where your arrogance got us now. Is the big green dude Josh? <laughs> neither of us can get to the children. This is your fault, and nobody else's. I meant it when I said I would practice the safest of procedures. Oh, I didn't realize his but name was wrong. Josh. I have something I want to show you. It sure looks like you need it. Oh no, it's another vision. Boo, boo, boo. Yeah, Jumbo Josh, that's right. Oh, hi. You're up again. You sure are a sleepy fellow. Agreed. Grab some of the vegetable snacks we collected and eat. Oh, they're all finished. I already have consumed my share of the nutrients I've gathered while you were in your slumber. Me too. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. What the honk is happening? Dude looks creepy as shit. I have never witnessed kindness coming from a spider before. Man, if Shabu Josh was here, he would have loved those vegetables. I am pretty content that he's not gracing us with his irritating presence. Why do you hate him so much? Sure, he's got some anger issues, but overall he's pretty chill. We've had our fair share of altercations. <laughs> Hate is one of the two emotions I am unable to control. What's the second one? Sorrow. Not again. How in front of me? Being able to move past constant sorrow in a world like, like which direction? Like this way? Sometimes I feel like we're all just doomed forever. We each have our plans and goals, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Nor can it undo the past or the previous misery. Life is too short to be sad all the time, Stinger. Our lives aren't. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You know I'm <laughs> not the best at this stuff. Maybe uh, nap nap or the captain. I love the voice acting in this. Captain? As expected. What's that sound? Lots of other creatures reside in this ecosystem. Could be anything. Well, if that's the case, you might want to worry yourselves about it, right? Yeah, but what kind of animal makes that sound? Sounds like a train. Help me! What the hell? Is that Choo Choo Charles? <laughs> Is it made by the same people? I didn't play Choo Choo Charles, but I considered it. Okay, so there was something up here. Can I go up here now? I can! Hooray! What is that? It's a cassette tape. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah. Alright, so is there something in these rooms now? No? Still nothing in the rooms there. <sighs> Bang, Bang Bang's waiting for you upstairs, Chop Chop Boy. Well, he can continue to wait. I'm gonna look around. This is the first entry to what I will refer to as the Toadster Archives, where all information gathered about criminals will be recorded. Criminal number one, the snail, was captured near the front gate of the kingdom while I was on patrol. The snail was captured while hiding in her shell, and has remained hidden since. It was initially thought to be an empty shell husk, until quiet crying was heard coming from within the shell. Wow. All attempts to convince the snail to leave her shell have failed. The reason for this extreme distress has not yet been determined, but I have a theory. This criminal ain't from around here, so it's possible that this foreign hostile environment is what's causing this unnatural behavior. More updates soon. Okay. Uh, will these other ones play anything now? Nope. They still don't have anything to play yet. All right. Um, up the stairs. I think Jerry's with uh, Ban Ban. Where have you been? I've been waiting for a while. I don't care. The next piece that we need should be at the second station, the feeding sector. The feeding sector... Green. I feel now is a good time to introduce ourselves, which we haven't done up to this point if you can believe it. I am Uthman. I worked here before everything came crashing down. Earthman? Literally and figuratively. I can't imagine the stuff you've witnessed down here. My co-workers and I should have spoken up sooner. Perhaps all of this should have been prevented then. But then again, my co-workers weren't really friends in those last couple of months anyway. So it would have needed some good planning. I didn't you know. ever had those friends that suddenly turn on you for no reason? No. To say mine turned on me would be an understatement. They suddenly stopped talking to me. They looked at me like I was some sort of monster. I mean... Sometimes I lose my temper, sure, but it seemed excessive. I was and still am confused, to say the least. Hey, all We're the way around. Oh, this Let's is it? Go. Dude, he picked up his robot counterpart thing. Sharp to do his Wait, back. Oh shit. Get down? How do I get down? I don't know how to get down. Can I get down? I don't I don't think I have a button for getting down. Oh shit. Oh, he's okay. I that can still see him. That the sheriff set up earlier. Poor Josh. I can't imagine how confusing this has all been for him. <laughs> I think it's that amusing. That locked the last time I was here. Can't be too hard to get it open, though, right? Uh.
I don't know, apparently I gotta figure out this puzzle or something. Let's see. Those are definitely the birds. Sheriff is getting it on with Jerry. Alright, so... There's some indication in this room of what the puzzle is. Okay, there's got to be something. Maybe it's to do with these barrels. One, two, three, four barrels. Try that. This side has one, two, three, four, five barrels. Not it. Or at least it didn't do any. Oh, I can open that door. The other orange door. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, what is that? It says, okay. I think that's the that's the answer for the puzzle. All that's in here is just these two doors. <laughs> the big head and the pink doors are voiced by Kalis. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm with you. Nothing is funny enough. I must practice. Pra practice makes perfect. List of jokes. A kangaroo, a jellyfish, and a toad walk into a bar. That's it. None of them actually walk. How did the jellyfish get to the seafloor? They took the jelly vader. What do you call a surgery being performed by a kangaroo? A hooperation. They're all terrible. Am I the joke? Yes. I found a crown. Wait, can I can I put the crown on is that head looking at me? What in the heart? Wow. You just come in here, steal what's ours, and then leave? You humans are all the same. Thieves with no shame. Your greed knows no limits, only controllable for minutes. You can have the crown. I couldn't care less about that. But can I at least have some applause for my little poem, please? What poem? I don't... Okay. I'm not... Don't listen to that guy over there. All he cares about are his poems. I'll show you something that's actually impressive. A magic trick. Open sesame. I think I earned a round of applause for that. Okay. Well, I'm not going to clap for either one of you, so... There's that. You got that going for you, right? Where's my stupid drone at? Uh, 
Uh, oh. I got a new hat. Hold on, we're going to put on a new hat. Why? Because why not? Egghead hat, is that what it is? Yep. Alright, cool. Alright, come in here. Alright, first things first, go there. Go there. Now go there. No, farther. Wait, what the hell? Uh, go there. Got it. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's two buttons down, right? Okay. So now... Did it. Alright. Uh... Hmm, come out. Bro. Okay, come this way. <laughs> Alright, get up there. Got it. Uh, red key card. All right, let's go. Can I do anything about this door? No? All right, good. We're leaving. All right? Hold on. Was there anything left in there? No. All right, here we go. Okay, so we want this to say, no, that's not what I wanted. Love it. Okay, right? Uh, hold on. Do I, is it just like this? Yep. Okay, cool. And this side's got to be an O. There seems to be two doors behind each other. I think we opened the inner one. Yeah, we... <laughs> Before we grab the elevator piece, there is something I need to do first. Oh, of course there is. I need to hand this imposter over to someone very close to me. You do the honors. What are the honors? He must have gotten very lonely, but I got him a new friend. Who? Now, we wait. Wait, oh. no, nab, nab. We can't let Nab Nab take him. Oh no. Nab Nab's so much faster than I am though. This is as fast as I run. Ah! Uh.
I tried fixing you so many times, but you're just unfixable. Enough is enough. Okay. Oh shit! Oh! He hulked out! Nice. <laughs> he hulked out and destroyed Nab Nab. <laughs> Case update report. Case number nine, the sheriff. As stated in the last update regarding Case 9, the JV solution used, utilized to alter Case 13's behavior has been applied to Case 9 in order to eradicate the primitive behaviors observed previously, and the results are very promising. Contrary to its behavior in the past, Case 9 has not only ditched his nocturnal sleeping cycle that was most likely a direct result of his genome donor, which was made testing very difficult for the researchers. <laughs> He has now mastered bipedal walking and seems to have completely stopped mimicking the movement of toads, which mainly consisted of hopping. The next step will be to introduce Case 9 to the concept of speech, which is speculated to take very little time as a human genome donor of Case 9 is a native English speaker. Case is not ready for presentation. Okay. Yellow key card. I can control it. I know I can. Okay. I have a few things I need to do around here. You go back without me. The elevator part should be around here somewhere. Okay. Do I open this door? No. Nab Nab's dead. Probably gonna show up later somehow. <laughs> <laughs> 